Up next, we show you an emerging technology in neurosciences that can help people suffering from epilepsy. Here is more. A human brain is composed of billions of neurons that communicate with each other by sending electric signals. But a sudden, uncontrolled burst of electrical activity in the brain can lead to seizures. It seems a new cutting-edge technology can help address it. Chinese tech firm Hanzhou Genlight MedTech has developed a device that can help reduce the incidence of seizures in people suffering from epilepsy. Using the brain-computer interface technology, the device links the human brain's electrical activity with external devices. The technology involves two electrodes connected to a microprocessor, which is fixed on the skull. The microprocessors monitor the patient's brainwave activity in real time through the electrodes. When it detects abnormal brainwaves preceding an epileptic seizure, it delivers an electrical stimulus to suppress it. This device can be easily charged thrice a week using a power bank. It's true that patients could build up tolerance from medicines that can help control seizures. But this device is proving to be more effective. More and more medtech companies are working on the brain-computer interface technology, but most of them are focusing their research on wearable devices. Because actually the brain is complex, and the brain uh, was a kind of taboo, and little research was in the brain before recent 15, 20 years. People were doing a lot of work with brain, but no, nothing invasive. Hangzhou Genlight MedTech's product was the first in Asia to enter clinical trials for a brain-computer interface device to be used in the treatment of epilepsy. However, one industry insider says implants that are placed inside the brain are more powerful and responsive than wearable devices. According to experts, while BCI applications are promising, the technology is somewhat limited by the scientific mysteries of the human brain. Currently, we are still constrained by the limitations of basic research in neuroscience. In terms of our specific understanding of the brain, we are not yet particularly clear about the specific mechanisms of many functions in the deep brain regions.